Revisiting previously seen pages is a fundamental part of World Wide Web navigation, and the back button is probably the most widely used user interface component of any interface in existence today, accounting for more than 30% of user actions at the web browser. Although it is easy to use, the back button is inefficient for returning to pages that were seen several pages ago, requiring several user interface clicks and page redisplays. This limitation has motivated several uh, researchers to begin investigating graphical uh, representations of World Wide Web navigation paths. But two questions that all graphical aids to navigation must address are first, how to represent pages in the display, and second, how to organize the display so that it provides a succinct display of navigational paths. Hmm. I really want to go back to the InfoViz homepage. I was just there this morning. I wish I bookmarked it then. Oh, well, I guess I can go back with a back button. No. 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 This could take forever. Oh, I know. No, that's not going to be in much use. Oh well, I guess it's back to the search page. This could take a while. Hmm, I really want to return to the InfoViz homepage. I was just there this morning. I wish I'd bookmarked it then. Oh well, I know, I can use WebView. Ah, now that looks like it. Yep, that's the one. I'll bookmark it now. And now I can go to the page. There we are. We are using the WebView prototype to investigate new ways of aiding web page identification and page organization. In WebView, page representation is supported in three ways. First, a zoomable thumbnail is dynamically captured as each page is loaded into the Netscape browser. By default, the thumbnail images appear extremely small, 25 pixels wide, but when the user moves over each of the thumbnails, they are magnified to 64 pixels, providing a, a readily identifiable representation of the page contents. Second, do a doggy as metaphor allows users to explicitly mark each page, providing an analogous method of bookmarking the page. And implicit dog ears grow progressively denser green color with each visit to the page. Third, a text title is automatically, is automatically captured from the HTML contents of the page. The display of previously seen pages is organized using three techniques. First, pages within the same site are nested to reveal the hub and spoke relationship between a page, such as Adam's page here, and the links emanating from that page that are located at the same site, Adam's mother and Adam's father. A pop-up menu also allows a shortcut navigation from a page to the links emanating from that page. So we can navigate to Adam's brother, Jeremy, directly. These pages are all located within the same site, and therefore there is a nesting to, to reveal the relationship between the pages. Second, to avoid excessive nesting in the display, pages located at different sites are displayed in separate branches of the tree, providing partial sitemaps. As we move from the My Dad page to the CV page that is located at a separate site, a new branch is added to the tree, and pages accessed from that new branch that, lo that are located within the same site are then nested within the same site. A graphical link reveals the relationship between the hub page and the spoke page that resides at a different site.
The third organization technique is that the site branch containing the most recently visited page is automatically moved to the top of the tree, which provides a temporal ordering of the visited site. As I move to the Jeremy Greenberg page and select this link, I'm entering a new site. Doing so causes the new site to be relocated at the top of the page. Going back to the Curriculum Vitae site, the entire site is now located at the top of the page. In summary, graphical web browsing tools have the potential to increase the efficiency of page and site revisitation. In doing so, they must address the trade-off between screen real estate and the clarity and usability of the visualization they provide. We've shown just a few techniques, using thumbnails, titles, hub-and-spoke methods, as well as other things to link sites together. There are, of course, a wide variety of other methods, and we will be exploring these along with usability studies of these systems in the future.